Uh, okay, let's start at the beginning, shall we, sweet Taurus? Here we go. The chariot. Now, the chariot is can be travel in style. It can also be oh, taking the high road, um, really healing yourself, looking at things honestly, which I think this is more about looking at things honestly instead of, um, you know, looking at things through rose-colored glasses. That's kind of what this, uh, the eight here is all about. Seven is all about. Um, so it does feel like you are making some big sweeping changes, but it also looks like it took a very long time for you to make the decision to make those changes and to move phys physically, emotionally, or spiritually. It does look like you will be rewarded for this very difficult choice. It also looks like you're looking more into the future. You are much more balanced. This tape is lighting up for me over the second and the third chakra. So it does look like, or it feels like you're collecting your energy that you gave out all over the planet and gave to other people that were not gentle or kind with your energy. So it does feel like you are gifting it back to yourself. So what crosses you, this can be a twofold card really. For the most part, I think for you, it stands for really pulling off uh, the rose colored glasses and looking at the situation for what it truly is. Not what you wished it to be, not what you hoped it would turn into, but what it really was. And I think once you did that, you were able to really see that either this relationship, this job, this house, whatever it was that you needed to, to change immediately. Um, I think that you were able to really look at it for what it was and realize it was more destruction um, that more destructive than it was creative for you. So congratulations, Taurus, on making those changes. I know it was really, really difficult and it does look like you're right in the middle of the process. So be gentle with yourself during this time. The Knight of Wands is here. Um, he detect, de, um, depicts motion. He is also facing the path. So there may be a challenge or maybe, um, a thought to go back to the situation that you just left, go back to the job, go back to the person, go back to the house. Um, it doesn't look like that would be advantageous for you. It does look like it will be more of the same. You may have done that and kind of been hit with the reality, even though, you know, people say they changed. Uh, some of the inherent things are still the same. So it does look like you need to take your leave, uh, be brave, and walk into your future. Um, does look like by yourself, um, or at least um, with your own wisdom. But it does look like you are taking a glance back into that problem um, I don't think you will jump back into it. It's just part of the process to be sad that it wasn't what you thought it was. It wasn't what you thought it was. This is kind of like can be the gossip card, the theft card, but for the most part, it does feel like you were, um, were able to get out of a situation that was, I don't want to say um, abusive, but it does feel it could be verbally, could be physically. It just does not feel like it was in line with your positive growth. It does feel like it held you down and made um, you question yourself and made you feel like you were not enough. This is in the past position. So it does look like you have taken that leap of faith into your future and left this situation. But um, it does look like it has pretty much ignited a lot of your fears. Um, the current position is the Two of Swords. It is also one where you pull off the blindfold, take a look at what is really going on. Um, it does feel like you are isolating a bit and you are protecting your heart. So I do think this is uh, something within a relationship that has shifted for you. Um, but it does feel like you're super, super protective and that you're needing to isolate yourself so you can heal yourself a little bit, just pulling yourself back from, from everybody's expectations, including your own. So just, um, it looks like it's a time for meditation, contemplation, and healing. 
Um, and if you can isolate yourself away from expectations and other people's ideas of what you should do, that would be the most beneficial for you. Justice card is right here. This is righting a wrong. It doesn't necessarily have to be legal. It can be legal. It is right side, right side up, so it does feel like um, it is a right that has been wronged um, on an interpersonal level. Uh, could be a romantic level, could be an apology, um, could even be a balance of finances that were out of balance before. So stay tuned. This is in the immediate future position. So there will be a right um, that was wronged to you in, in the first place. It will be righted. So what is the basis of all this? The foundation of all this is the nine. It does feel like you're gathering up all your emotions. You're uh, very emotionally driven right now. Uh, see if you can be uh, neutral while making big decisions. Do not base them on uh, emotions. See if you can base them on um, intellect and collecting information. This does feel like you're collecting more things that you are getting stronger emotionally. Uh, this can stand for inheritance or gifting as well, but it does feel like you are gifting yourself the, um, the gift of certainty is what I'm feeling, that you are enough and um, it's time to accomplish things for yourself. It does feel like you have been doing a lot of things for other, whether it's the family unit um, or um, just, you know, being a workaholic or something like that. But it does look like it's time to refocus on you and create a new canvas for you. So it does feel like some motion is in order and you may be even contemplating moving to a new town. That's what it's feeling like. You are feeling a little defensive. The arms are lighting up here. You had two crossed arms here. So it does feel like you're really guarding yourself, um, but you're healing your heart and you're healing yourself from a situation that was long overdue to be healed. This is the four. The next one is the four and your hopes and dreams. And it does look like you are extremely disappointed about some, a situation that you're really sad and that um, you're kind of stuck in the process of being, I wouldn't say depressed, but processing um, a sadness, a regret, a betrayal of some kind, something that didn't turn out the way that you thought it was. But there's something right around the corner for you. So just refocus yourself on you and your journey and your future because there's something waiting for your attention right around the corner. And it really uh, requires your gifts and your awareness and your wisdom. So um, it does look like you're in the middle of the process and everyone takes um, whatever time they need to, to um, do that process. But it does look like you have some regrets and that you have some big disappointments on things that didn't turn out the way you thought they would. The Page of Cups is here. You know, page can be messages. They also can be children. Um, you know, this stuff could affect children. If you have children, if you're releasing a relationship or moving, you know, of course, that can affect your children. For the most part, I feel this is messages and Page of Cups or emotions. And that can be, you know, you... Um, can get an invitation to a marriage or an engagement in, in the mail. It can be an email from the ghost of boyfriends or girlfriends past um, saying that they love you. Or it could just, you know, be your siblings or your family coming together, uh, sending you a note telling you that you're wonderful. So pay attention to, um, excuse me, the messages that are coming. And it can either come from someone's mouth email, letter, it can come from anywhere, but it does look like pay attention that this will help um, ensure that your self-esteem is moving in the forward position. The temperance card is here. That's one of balance. It's one of releasing the things that you don't need. Um, you know, you've got one foot in the water here, so you may be in trying to be in two places at one time. So try to find your balance um, and just do one step at a time. It does look like you walked away from something that was offered to you as, as something wonderful, but you knew that it wasn't kind of a wolf in sheep's clothing. Um, so you've had to walk away from either a situation, a person, a job, something like that. Uh, but now you're trying to find your balance and you're trying to simplify life. It does look like this 
situation dictated uh, releasing some physical things and really simplify, simplifying your life. Um, but it does feel like this uh, chakra, this, this um, third eye is lit up here. So you may be starting a creation, starting a job, starting uh, some new beginning of something that you've always wanted to do and taking your wonderful skills that were gifted to you and gifting the world with these skills, whether it's construction or yoga. There is something there that the world needs of your wisdom. On the other side of this is death. That is a definite ending. I don't feel this is a, a physical death, although it does feel like a death of either a relationship or the way that things were uh, processed in your relationship. You could have opened up your communication, but it does look like the focus has been shifted to this issue and moving towards you and um, figuring out how you want to make your new garden grow. It does feel like absolute new beginnings for you on many levels. Um, and your healing energy is really cranked up and it does feel like you are giving it to yourself. It's long overdue that you heal yourself first and foremost. And this is kind of the how does your garden grow thing, planting seeds. Uh, this also can stand for pregnancy. Uh, so if you want to create that, great. If you don't, use some birth control. <laughs> it's really easy. <laughs> but it does look like figuring out what you want to do with the rest of your life and how that's going to look. So that is your reading for October, Taurus. Um, I'm going to throw a couple of these chakra cards. Oh, all right. They're, they wanted to come out. Let's see what we got. Perception, self-worth, and vanity. Those are the ones that are wanting to come out. So shifting your perception is very, very powerful. It's the same life as it was yesterday, but making yourself the main focus and not the extra is is what it is it's just shifting your your purpose and your perception to make you as important as you made other people uh, self-worth it's looking at self-esteem so you're really looking at things it does feel like your self-esteem has taken a hit a big big hit but it does feel like there was some either verbal physical or emotional abuse in this situation that you left um, so your self-worth is slowly rising. You know, it may take some time. Um, and self-worth and vanity, you know, it's always a balance of humility and self-worth. <laughs> Uh, so put the vanity down, put the ego space down as you're moving through this process. Remember your humility and your gratitude and you will be fine, Taurus. 